Imagine sitting in an oncologist's office, freshly diagnosed with cancer. Your mind is racing with questions, fears, and desperate hope. You ask your doctor, what should I eat to help fight this? And the response devastates you. Eat whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Nothing could be further from the truth. What if the foods you choose could be the difference between your cancer returning or staying gone forever? What if simple grocery store items could activate your body's hidden cancer-fighting abilities? Stay with me, because what you're about to discover could genuinely save your life. Today, we're diving into groundbreaking research revealing how specific foods activate your body's natural cancer-fighting systems. This is scientific evidence published in Nature Medicine, the Journal of Clinical Oncology, and the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry. Your doctor might not know this. Most medical schools provide virtually no nutrition education. Before we explore these foods, I want you to do something. If you're watching because you or someone you love is facing cancer, pause and breathe. You're not alone. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. We're building a community who refuse to accept it doesn't matter when it comes to health. Drop a comment telling us where you're watching from. New York, London, Mumbai, Tokyo. Let's see how far this message travels. Your body has five natural health defense systems designed to fight cancer. When cancer develops, these systems have failed. But here's the incredible part. You can reactivate them with food. These systems are angiogenesis, which starves tumors by controlling blood vessels. Regeneration, your gut microbiome with 39 trillion bacteria, DNA protection, and your immune system. Food is medicine, and science is finally catching up. Let me share something that shocked the medical community. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology followed 826 patients with stage 3 colon cancer over six years. Those who ate just two servings of tree nuts every week experienced a 57% improvement in survival and 42% reduction in cancer recurrence. Think about that. A 57% improvement from eating nuts twice weekly. This was massive. Yale Cancer Center and Dana-Farber Cancer Institute led this research. Tree nuts, almonds, walnuts, cashews, pecans, and hazelnuts contain healthy fats and fiber that boost immunity and feed gut bacteria. The benefits held true regardless of genetic mutations. The omega-3s reduce inflammation, fiber feeds bacteria that produce anti-cancer compounds, and antioxidants protect cells. This is peer-reviewed science showing food matters profoundly. But there's something even more fascinating. Deep in your gut lives a bacterium called Acromantia mucinifera. A major nature medicine study in 2022 examined 338 patients with advanced lung cancer receiving immunotherapy. The results were stunning. Patients with detectable Acromantia responded dramatically better and lived significantly longer. The objective response rate was 28%, versus only 18% without it. Median survival was 18.8 .8 months with acromancia versus 15.4 months without. Some patients without this bacterium didn't respond to immunotherapy at all, despite drugs costing tens of thousands monthly. This one bacterial species predicted survival better than standard biomarkers. This has been replicated in kidney cancer and melanoma. So how do you get more of this miracle microbe? You can feed it with specific foods. Harvard School of Public Health Research identified foods that significantly increase acromantia. Cranberries are powerful. Studies showed cranberry extract increased acromantia from 2% to over 30% in 8 weeks. That's a 15-fold increase from a simple fruit. Pomegranates work through a fascinating mechanism. People whose gut bacteria metabolize pomegranate compounds into urolithins have 33 to 47 times more acromantia. Concord grapes raised levels from 6% to over 49%. Mangoes, blueberries, and chili peppers also work. 
Here's something practical. Green tea has been shown to encourage Ackermansia growth. A 2020 Journal of Medicinal Food study documented this. You don't need expensive supplements. These are grocery store foods. The polyphenols your body can't digest travel to your colon where Ackermansia lives, becoming fuel that helps it multiply, strengthen your gut barrier, reduce inflammation, and make immunotherapy dramatically more effective. Now let's talk about starving cancer with food. Cancer cells send chemical signals causing blood vessels to grow toward them, creating a private blood supply. This is angiogenesis. Once blood vessels reach a tumor, research shows it can grow 16,000 times larger in two weeks. That's explosive, dangerous growth. But foods contain compounds that block angiogenesis, cutting off the tumor's fuel supply. Berries are backed by solid science. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries contain anthocyanins and ellagic acid that inhibit blood vessel formation. Ohio State and UC researchers show these berries reduce tumor blood vessel density 30 to 60 percent. The anthocyanins literally prevent new capillaries from feeding tumors. Green tea's EGCG, making up 50 percent of polyphenols, suppresses VEGF, the key protein tumors used to grow blood vessels. Nutrition and cancer showed three cups daily significantly inhibited angiogenesis. Coffee surprised researchers. The same team that found nut benefits showed four or more cups daily, was associated with 42% reduction in recurrence and 33% reduction in death. The mechanisms involve caffeic acid and chlorogenic acid blocking blood vessel growth. Soy products contain genistein with anti-angiogenic properties documented in over 200 papers. Tomatoes cooked with olive oil release lycopene fighting tumor blood vessels. Cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts, contain isothiocyanates preventing angiogenesis. Johns Hopkins showed broccoli sprouts have 50 to 100 times more than mature broccoli. But here's where it gets really interesting. Ever wondered why cancers return years after successful treatment? Someone goes through chemotherapy hell, gets the all clear, celebrates remission, then years later cancer returns. The answer is cancer stem cells, the roots hiding inside tumors. Even when treatment kills 99.9% .9 of cancer cells, these stem cells survive dormant, then regenerate tumors. This is why remission isn't always permanent. This is terrifying. However, groundbreaking Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry Research at Penn State identified foods that kill cancer stem cells. Purple potatoes, yes, regular purple potatoes from farmers' markets, contain high anthocyanin concentrations. Penn State Hershey Cancer Institute published studies showing these anthocyanins specifically target and kill colon cancer stem cells. They tested this in labs in mice. Purple potatoes, even after baking, suppressed tumor growth by eliminating cancer stem cells. Researchers compared this to Sulindac, a pharmaceutical drug, and found purple potatoes worked as well or better with no side effects. The mechanism is fascinating. Anthocyanins induce programmed cell death specifically in cancer stem cells. They interfere with WNT, beta-catenin signaling stem cells used to survive. They work even in cancers with mutated P53, mutated in over 50% of cancers. The human equivalent would be one medium to large purple potato daily, not supplements, just eating a purple potato. Green tea and coffee eliminate cancer stem cells through multiple mechanisms. They interfere with stem cell renewal pathways, promote differentiation into normal cells that die naturally, and activate cell death specifically in cancer stem cells while leaving normal stem cells alone. Walnuts contain omega-3s and ellagic acid interfering with cancer stem cell survival. This is why that large study showed such dramatic survival improvements. They weren't just fighting cancer cells. They were attacking the root system. 
Your immune system is your natural army. Every day, T cells and natural killer cells patrol looking for abnormal cells. Destroying thousands of potentially cancerous cells, you never know what's happening. But cancer hides from your immune system or creates an immunosuppressive environment. Chemotherapy significantly weakens immune defenses, making you susceptible to infections and allowing cancer cells to escape. Immune-boosting foods are critical. Broccoli sprouts powerfully stimulate T-cells and natural killer cells. Johns Hopkins documented that sulforaphane activates detoxification enzymes and boosts immune activity. Blueberries increase natural killer cell numbers and activity. Chili peppers activate immune pathways. Mushrooms, shiitake, maitake, white button, contain beta-glucans that stimulate immunity. Your gut microbiome connects everything. Those 39 trillion bacteria do more than digest food. About 70% of your immune system is in your gut. They regulate inflammation throughout your body. When you feed good bacteria, they produce short-chain fatty acids, beauty rate, acetate, propionate. These reduce inflammation, strengthen gut barrier, and influence gene expression to suppress cancer. Cancer thrives on chronic inflammation. Lowering inflammation is like spraying a fire extinguisher on cancer's fuel. Research shows people with healthier, more diverse gut microbiomes have better cancer outcomes, better treatment responses, and lower cancer risk. What feeds beneficial bacteria? High fiber foods. Lentils, chickpeas, and beans provide abundant fiber and resistant starch bacteria ferment into beneficial short-chain fatty acids. Mushrooms contain beta-glucans and fibers. Avocados provide about 10 grams of fiber each. Raspberries are one of the highest fiber fruits with about 8 grams per cup. Include fermented foods, kimchi, sauerkraut, full-fat yogurt with live cultures. These introduce beneficial bacteria directly. Don't worry about fat. The bacteria help lower cholesterol, making full-fat healthier than low-fat versions with added sugars. Everything shared today is backed by peer-reviewed research from Yale, Harvard, Dana-Farber, Penn State, and Memorial Sloan Kettering. These aren't miracle cures or substitutes for medical treatment. If you have cancer, you need a good oncologist and proper care, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, surgery, or radiation. These foods work with treatment, not instead of it. At the cancer center, that's sick care. At home choosing food, that's health care. You need both. Your doctor provides weapons. You provide the battlefield. Make your body hostile to cancer and supportive of healing. The World Health Organization classified processed meats, hot dogs, bacon, ham, sausages, deli meats, as Group 1 carcinogens in 2015 after reviewing 800 studies. Group 1 means convincing evidence these cause cancer. This put processed meats in the same category as tobacco and asbestos. The classification is about evidence strength, not risk level. But the evidence is clear. Minimize or eliminate processed meats. Red meat was classified as Group 2A, probably carcinogenic, linked to colorectal, pancreatic, and prostate cancers. The evidence that plant-based foods, tree nuts, berries, fermented foods, cruciferous vegetables, green tea, and coffee protect against cancer is equally robust. The American Institute for Cancer Research, World Cancer Research Fund, Memorial Sloan Kettering, and Dana-Farber have all published guidelines emphasizing these patterns. Every meal is an opportunity. Every grocery trip is a chance to choose health. You don't need perfection. You don't need kale three times daily or to give up every food you enjoy. Perfection isn't the goal. Consistency is. Be strategic. Add more cancer-fighting foods. Crowd out processed meats and highly processed foods. Make small, sustainable changes. Your body is remarkably resilient when you give it the right tools. 
If this video opened your eyes to food's power in fighting cancer, I need you to do something now. If this was helpful, kindly type yes in the comments. That motivates our team to keep researching and sharing. It takes hundreds of hours to research, verify, and create videos like this. Hit that like button so YouTube shows this to more people who need it. Share this with someone fighting cancer or someone who needs hope. Subscribe because we're just getting started. We've got so much more to share about using evidence-based nutrition to transform health and optimize your natural healing systems. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this community. And thank you for taking your health into your own hands. Remember, you are not powerless. Your choices matter. Your food matters. You matter. Until next time, keep fighting. Keep hoping and keep eating to beat disease.